Hi guys, in today's video of Plexi Starter, we're going to be looking at the rotate tab on the design central panel. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we have daily updates. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. Now, just a reminder, this is a mini series on the design central panel, which is this panel located on the right. Um, I will leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. So uh, to locate the panel, if it's for some reason not visible, you can always go here um, next to your undo and redo buttons on your standard toolbar. And we just click that little icon next to them. Don't ask me what that icon represents. <laughs> I'm not too sure, but uh, Otherwise, yeah, if we um, start off, so let's grab a, I'm just going to make a rectangle here. So we can see a few of the different options. So now under our design central, the second tab, as you can see, is the rotate option. Now keep in mind the rotate tab will only be available on certain objects. So um, if you can, if you see here, if I just click on my background, there's nothing where the design central has it, or should I say text has it and then opposite shapes so then uh, just head back there and then what we have here is our first option which is for the rotate so if we go to a positive um, value you'll see it rot rotates it counterclockwise and a negative rotation um, rotates it clockwise so that is something to keep in mind obviously you can click here use your mouse wheel to rotate and i'll show you the degrees there or you can use your arrow keys as well. You can also type in here if you want something specific, like 45 degrees, then you can do that. Let's put this back to zero. And then also another thing to keep in mind with the rotation is the origin point of rotation. So as we can see here in the middle, we've got this white little dot. Now, similar to the scale tool, we can set it here at the bottom. So if we want the rotation to go, be around the top right corner, you can see we click that. Now when we rotate, you can kind of rotate it more like a door or something in that line. Then, um, but another thing that you can do is you can manually click this dot and move it around to wherever you want. So let's say you've got two objects overlapping, you can always align this to a point of it and then rotate it around that point. Then if for some reason you want to reset that origin point, you can either click on this one or you can just simply change tabs when you come back the point is reset then um yeah the next up we've got here is um the rotating 90 degree angles with these buttons so as you can see the one is counterclockwise and the other one is clockwise then uh, under that what we have is the um, shear option so if you increase this, then it will shear to the right. If you decrease it, it will shear it to the left. And then, um, yeah, keep in mind, if you want to shear it on these sides, you can obviously use these handles, but otherwise you can just rotate it 90, use the same option and just rotate it back. If you wanted to only use features within the design central panel. And then last up on this little list, we've got the flip. So the flip is a bit hard to see because of the shape. So let's just rotate it like this, then we should be able to see it. So first of all, we've got um, flip X axis, which will be, um, it should be horizontally, as we can see there. And then we've got the vertical as well, which uh, right now it's very hard to see what's happening because they all both look like the same. But in other words, one will be flipping it vertically and one horizontally and uh, yeah that is it on the rotate i mean the, the sorry yeah, the other rotate tab otherwise if we head here to software training let's see that's it eh? uh, we have a variety of different softwares we do cover and we have this nice little search option so if you're looking for anything specific you can always type in here hit the little search button and then uh, bring up the results and if you don't find what you're looking for you can always go here request a training video then we will make that video for you but otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.